So we just got back from a camping trip this past week, and while we were out camping, I noticed that the light on my LP sensor was no longer working and realized that it had died. So I did a little bit of research and found out that these sensors are supposed to be replaced every five years. Obviously mine hasn't been replaced as the trailer's a 2004, so I'm going to uh, replace it. So I got online, looked around on Amazon and some other places, including some RV forums, and found that um, this unit should work okay for me. It's a safety alert, uh, dual carbon monoxide and propane gas alarm. Uh, looking at the back and everything, it looks pretty simple. Looks like it's two wires. So let's take a look and see if we can get this thing replaced today. So the power's off. Now we're gonna get in here. So, as we can see, we have a one amp fuse right here. I checked that fuse, it's still good. And I can see the date on here is April 2003. So obviously, July 2018, it's been in for 15 years. We should have replaced this a long time ago. We should have replaced it already three times. So these were crimped on there really tight, so I'm just gonna have to cut them off. And then we'll just have to strip the wire again. So we have red and black that come off the new one also. So if we pull the new one out, see it's just red and black just like we have on here. So it's really simple. So we have the fuse that it connects to the red and the green on this one and then the black will go with the white. So we're now just connecting the wires and hopefully we connect them the right direction. So I'm this fuse back in here. Let's see if this will tighten down for me. Okay, so now we've got our, our hot wire connected. Now we're going to connect our black wire with our okay so now we've got the wires connected which is very simple I'm gonna pull that back through and let's see if it lines up looks like not quite so it looks like we're gonna have to we're gonna have a little bit of a spot where it doesn't line up um, it may look like we, we might not be able to catch that right there we'll give it a try and see what happens I'm gonna leave a little bit of a hole on the one side but I'm okay with that stays in place that's the, that's the big thing I don't have anything holding there but let's see if we tighten it down if it holds complaint is it doesn't quite line up my hole on the back side is a little bit bigger so let me go turn it on. We'll keep this running. So when I fired it up, it didn't work. And then I started to question everything I'd done. Uh, pulled it all apart. Looked back at my previous video to make sure I connected the wires correctly. And then I decided to start testing my wires. So I pulled out my uh, light tester and checked and realized I had no power there. So I decided to uh, look a little bit further. So I decided to come to my fuse box, which is back here. And I grabbed my 
tester and luckily I do have a ground right here that I can connect to. And as I pulled it out, I check and I notice that I have I have power to every fuse except this one, which is this green wire right here. So I have power on the, the one side, but no power on the other. So I reached in and pulled it out. Sure enough, blown fuse. So I'm gonna throw another fuse in just to show. So I put the fuse in. Now when I test, we have power here, we have power here, and when I come out here, we're in business. So there you go, that's how to replace an LP gas monitor, uh, which is also a carbon monoxide monitor, and it's also a way to troubleshoot if you've got electrical problems. So I learned something today while I was doing this. Alright, have a great day.